Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 406. Minimum cost for cutting kick one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So yeah, so this one, um, first of all, I actually did not realize and or just forgot during the contest um, that Q3 and Q4 are the same problem uh, with a different constraint. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe I could have handled this differently. As a result, it ended up that I took nine minutes to implement this, some with certain mistakes, which we'll go over in a sec, and then an additional seven minutes because I had to do some, basically my Q4 solution is way different and had to be, um, yeah, just had to do it, you know, from scratch, right? But yeah, but the first thing I noticed for this one, like I said, I did not realize Q4 because I think I would have saved some time on Q4 if I realized that um, something happened. But uh, but I'll, I'll go over the Q4 solution in Q4, so definitely go for that. Um, but yeah, uh, I think... Yeah, so I mean, the, the short answer is dynamic programming. And here we have a... It, it's a little bit tight, to be honest, because if you think about, um, you know, I'm just going to go over this really quickly because um, this is a way to brute force dynamic programming. Basically, we have a, you know, we have a bounding box, you can say, you know, here denoting the upper left. So A, X, A, Y, you go upper left. And then B, X, B, Y is you go to lower right. Though I had some confusion over this and it is inclusive, but Clearly, I had some confusion over this because that's why it took me so long because I was debugging silly things for for like I don't know way too long, um, but yeah. But basically, this is the slice, and then here, if you have a one by one box, then we return zero because we're done. Otherwise, and this is a memorized um, brute force type thing, right? Uh, otherwise, we just brute force. Hey, let's cut this. Uh, let's make a horizontal cut on I. And we just brute force on every possible thing, keeping in track what, you know, which one we're doing, and we split this into two, right? Uh, we do the same thing for vertical cut, same idea, pretty straightforward. The cost of the the uh, left side, the cost of the right side, plus the cost of the the cut on this side, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it it feels a little bit sketch to be honest, um, because you know, uh, in a very naive, lazy look. Um, this is gonna be twenty to the fifth. There's twenty to the fourth here, right? And then uh, there's two twenty loops. So you could even say this is, you know, twenty plus twenty, say. But uh, but roughly speaking, uh, twenty to the fifth, right? And twenty to the fifth is uh three million, which should be okay, but also a little bit sketch, uh, especially in Python. But uh, but it turns out it this handles it okay. Let me actually double check this real quick. Um, so yeah, 1.8 seconds, not too bad, um, but yeah, um, and, and some of it is because uh, a lot of the states are not possible, so it's not a full 20 to the fifth, uh, that's probably why, and what I mean by that is, for example, uh, the way that we set it up, BX has to be less than AX, right, so you already got like the over 2 factor here in the summation, and the same thing for AY over BY, so you already do that by divide the entire thing by four, right? I mean, I guess you also t times it by two here, but but there, there are a lot of like innate constraint that just cuts off a little bit here and there to mix it fast enough. But yeah, um, not gonna go over this dynamic program solution too deeply because I'm gonna go over the Q4 solution. Um, this is just really brute force and, I, and yeah, you could watch, yeah, I almost took 10 minutes on this one just because of silly mistakes. Uh, and you could kind of see me doing that uh, in the next portion now. And yeah, or what I usually say is you can now watch me solve it live in contest now. Um, as I said, I will, sh you know, in the Q4 video, I'll go over the Q4 situation. Yeah, thanks. Uh, four, five, two, 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 one, two, three, four. Should be good. Wow, well, people are fast. Okay. To cut into one, one pieces. Minimum cost. Okay, so this is a DP problem, or maybe even brute force problem. Um, so horizontal cut. It's vertical cut. So that's gonna cost five. Hmm. Just DP, but it's just an annoying DP. Okay. Um, 
is it? I guess that's fast enough, but still a little bit yucky. How do I do this? Okay. This should be plus one because we cannot cut on that, right? So nope. Uh, we need a thing which is the base case. So if ax plus one is equal to ay, and bx plus one is equal to by. And this is just zero because then now we have one by ones. And then now we cut on the row, right? Yeah, on this. <coughs> so this is the cost, and what we get is ax to i. BXBY, nope. Uh, yeah, maybe. Plus go um, IAY, BXBY, plus this. Right. This is, this feels way expensive to be honest. I don't know how I feel about this. Oops. Um, Oops, I didn't cash. What, what a new move. I mean, it's still wrong, but because I don't. Why am I not? Because um, it's not. So if. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Excuse me. Hmm, even this is wrong. So zero two, zero two. Okay. So it goes from one. Yeah. Uh, should it be an easy problem? But I don't know. So then now this is. For some reason now be cruising, is that right? Am I off by one? Probably. Yeah, okay. So um, that means that this is not recursion. A X B X A mm. 
Nope. Dummy. Okay. Out range at least means something else. Um, list index out range. What does that mean? Why? Du, du, du. Right. No, that should be right. No, this should be right. I feel it. No, maybe not. Who knows? Two, two. Series eight. Oh. One, two. <sighs> All right, zero is one, one. Oh, that's true. Right. No, why is this returning? Uh... Oh, this is dumb. Larry, you're dumb. Okay, still out of bound, but vertical cut is. Am I messing this up? Or C, vertical cut is Y. Vertical cut is column. So, yeah. Right. Well, it's two two anyway, so that, that doesn't make sense. But what is the outer bounds part? Line seventeen. Well, I'm definitely forcing myself to be slow by not getting it. So, um, I guess that's good. Feels right. Is it this part? And this part? Hmm. No, you need to add those. So why is this one? Zero two. Um what is I? One so it goes to the This index goes out. Oh, right. So vertical cut is wrong. Line 18. Why is vertical cut wrong? So this is zero, but we want it to one. Oh, okay. So this is this minus one because it'll never be zero. Okay, fine. Okay, so 15 is 15, right? All right, fine. Now, is this fast enough? Who knows? That took a while, honestly. Uh, 13, 15. Uh, we might as well just generate something. Uh, R is equal to 20. C is equal to 20. Trying to be a little bit responsible and be a little bit slower. I mean, I guess that's fast enough. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 13 and 15, right? Okay. YOLO. Please work. And no timeout. Okay. Wow. People have really done. Oh, there's a cute. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.